Leonard Nimoy was just my, he was, you know, out of the, the duo of, of, of Spock and, and Captain Kirk, he was my favorite. And, and all things considered, he, his words of wisdom actually were fairly wise. And he was just a cool character and, I, you know, you just sort of grew up with him being, I think everybody loved him, you know, that's why there was such a reaction that, that he's passed away. I mean, I saw it on the ticker tape on, on the BBC and I was like, fuck, that's really, you know. So yeah, he was, he was a good guy. I've met him a couple times and he was really personable in person. Star Trek was a big show for me growing up. I, um, I used to watch it pretty much every night, like when my, my parents would watch it too. So like, as I was a little kid, I, that was like a big part of my childhood. And yeah, obviously um, the show means a lot to a lot of people and, and his character in particular was so iconic. And, and what's crazy about it is that like, I wasn't even a big fan of it. Like I just kind of bypassed that whole scene, but it's still, he's to me, he's such an icon still. Yeah. So that's really a test of, you know, if you have a guy who doesn't necessarily have watched Star Trek more than once, but you still can identify the character and know exactly who he is, what he sounds like, what he does. It's, it's pretty, that's a good testament to his career, Definitely. I think. To me, uh, a person of the accomplishment of somebody like Leonard Nimoy, I think his work speaks for itself. Like, I'm a fan, I grew up on Star Trek, and obviously Star Trek far outlived its three seasons before it was canceled. The myth of it, and it's grown, the franchise of it's grown, and, and it carries forth. Um, but it's hard to con contextualize for a soundbite world what somebody means. What I would say about Leonard Nimoy from an observational point of view is he handled his success and the, and the character that people put on him. In essence, he was Spock. He handled it with a lot of grace and dignity. And I, that's, what, that's what I think of now that he's passed, is that he really took something that most people would really struggle with and he dealt with an incredible amount of, he dealt with it with an incredible amount of dignity. And I, that makes me proud of him as an artist that he was able to do it, because I certainly haven't dealt with my success as well as he dealt with his. Leonard Nimoy passing, like whether or not you're a big Star Trek fan, I think he was such like, a prevalent icon. He was so important and such like, so intergrained in pop culture. Uh, and just like as a figure in general. So I think like from everyone from like the most like dedicated, massive like Star Trek, uh, Spock, Nimoy fans to like people that are more removed. I think like it's still like a pretty sad, uh, pretty big loss. And I think, I mean, the biggest thing I took away from from it is that you know how old was he? he was like 83, something like that. And uh, and uh, he was one of those guys that no one that ever worked with him seemed to have anything negative to say about him. And uh, I don't know. That's a for for such an icon. That's like a that's a big thing to take away. That's a big thing to like great legacy. Though. Yeah, and and I, I kind of feel like that's a that's an example that I feel like a lot of a, a lot of everybody, you know, that would be good to follow. <laughs> yeah, it's good for your good for your entire life and career if you're cool with people. <laughs> My favorite episode ever, Spock's brain. Yeah, look it up. That's great a good one. fucking episode. Uh, and you know, to me like. Because I'm super old, like there was only one Star Trek. It was the original Star Trek with fucking with Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner. William Shatner. And it was a great cast, you know. It's a sad day, you know. For me, it I was, was a sad day. I was telling Sal Satchel when he told me the news that Leonard Nimoy passed away. I was like, you know, fuck, dude. When people that I like grew up with that were famous to me start passing away, I, I realized my own mortality. And I realized this is a time right now to really jump into what has been given to me, man. Free pussy, free beer, free cocaine, and rocking the world. And that's what I draw from his death. It's cool that you got so deep with that. Because, dude, our shit could end tomorrow. And we'd be Any done. Any one of us could die from a drug overdose tomorrow. Right. So, or in a large heart. Live in the moment. Do it the moment. Fucking have fun, dude. And if you, and it, you know, next time you're about to do the shocker, do the spocker. Do the spocker for Leonard. Two in the pink, two in the stink. Love you, Spock. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass, make you pass out. You ready? <laughs>